The January 6th committee will hear testimony this week from former White House counsel Pat Cipollone. Lawmakers issued a subpoena last week after bombshell testimony from a former White House aide. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland has more details. Three sources familiar with the matter tell CBS News former Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone will sit with committee investigators Friday behind closed doors and we're told it will be videotaped. How important an interview is this for the committee? I think it's important for the committee. I mean, Mr. Cipollone was in the room. Uh, he, we have testimony from others about what he said and did, but there are some things that you know we need to hear from him about directly. The committee is expected to press Cipollone about what Trump White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson said in her blockbuster testimony last week, that Cipollone warned of criminal exposure if Trump went to the Capitol January 6th. Mr. Cipollone said something to the effect of, Please make sure we don't go up to the Capitol, Cassidy. Keep in touch with me. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable. The interview was set to happen four days before the next public hearing of the committee on Tuesday. CBS News is told that hearing will focus on the mobilization of the mob, including by far-right groups. A former leader of the Proud Boys and the founder of the Oath Keepers have pleaded not guilty to seditious conspiracy charges. They face trial later this year, but both did sit for day-long depositions with the committee several months ago. And Scott joins me now with more, much more to dig into from Washington. Hey there, Scott. So Pat Cipollone's name has obviously come up in previous January 6 hearings a lot. So what issues can we expect that the committee is going to press him on when they speak with him this Friday? They've been leaning on him for weeks to come forward and testify under oath. Then last week, a week ago today, they ended up subpoenaing him to come forward. And here he is set for a Friday meeting behind closed doors. Well, he gets them right inside Trump's inner circle. That's why they want to talk to him so badly, including about what Ms. Hutchinson testified to last week that he had warned, according to Ms. Hutchinson, that they'd be breaking every crime or criminal code imaginable if Trump went to the Capitol January 6th. Certainly the committee's gonna wanna press him on whether he directly advised the former president as such and whether the former president insisted on going to the Capitol despite that advice. But also, he was in the ear of the president, had the ear of the president in those pivotal hours before the attack and in those pivotal days before January 6th, they have a lot of questions and a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. So how do we expect that his testimony is going to impact the committee's investigation going forward, Scott? Well, first of all, the committee has to work its way around attorney-client privilege. Yeah. As the White House counsel, he may try to exercise some of that. We talked to a lot of people today. We talked to a lot of attorneys, including some Trump critics, including a, a former member of the legal advisory board of the impeached Donald Trump group, who's also a constitutional law professor at George Washington University. We asked her about this attorney-client privilege issue. Take a listen. I would drill down on that. And I would press him to explain what variety of crimes, every crime in the book, he was concerned about. Now, that's something that he may or may not be willing to answer. But there isn't really, to my mind, a privileged claim. Catherine Ross, constitutional law professor for George Washington University there. Pat Cipollone is the next witness, but this is also a committee that's spoken to a thousand other witnesses, and we'll wait to see who the witness will be at the public hearing, which is set, Lana, for Tuesday morning here in Washington. Yeah, I'm interested to see what is going to come out of that. Uh, we know that they're going to focus on the mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th. Uh, have you learned anything about potential witnesses at all, Scott? Not yet, but we know this is going to be about the mobilization of the mob, the movement of those hundreds, if not thousands of people January 6th, with a specific focus on the far right groups and domestic violent extremism. We know Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin will lead this hearing, a member of the January 6th committee. Mm -hmm. This is not their last hearing. It's their next hearing, and it again will reach the nation Tuesday morning. Uh, and before I let you go, I understand you have some uh, new reporting about the upcoming trials for some of the January 6th defendants that aren't the, the White House high profile people that we've been talking about. What can you share with us, Scott? Any number of these defendants are seeking to get their trials delayed and citing these January 6th committee hearings as a reason, saying the publicity behind these hearings risks tainting the jury. So 
Defendants big and small, high and low profile, are seeking delays. The thing is, Lana, the court keeps getting these requests. The court is not accepting these requests, at least not yet. Keep an eye out on Steve Bannon, set to go on trial later this month for contempt of Congress. He's made one of those requests as well. All right, Scott. We know you'll keep us apprised of all of that. Thanks.